How's it going guys, Joshua Lafemi here, and I am absolutely in love with the new Rotobrush 2 tool available in After Effects Beta, soon to be in After Effects Alpha, aka the normal After Effects. I've been using it a lot in a lot of random projects including this social media post I made with my little sister dancing out here in LA. This project was inspired by a post by It's Will Carmack on Instagram. You can see this really cool project that he did with Liza. I guess the one thing that differentiates my project with the original one that Will did is I'm going to try attempting it on this crazy confusing background that would normally be an absolute pain to mask. I want to show you guys the capabilities with the new Rotobrush 2 tool and see how easy it is to mask out a person from such a random complex background. Now guys, I know that my masking was not perfect for this project. You can see a little bit of the edge on her leg and a few other places, but guys, considering how fast it took me to get to this place, considering any other masking option that After Effects has, that's what I wanna focus on for this tutorial. You can spend all the time in the world to perfect your roto mask when you do this tutorial yourself. All right, just wanted to get that out of the way. Let's keep going. This video is gonna be in four parts. First, I'm gonna show you how to download After Effects beta. Second, I'm gonna tell you about Envato Elements. Third, I'm gonna show you how to create the initial moving mask. And fourth, I'm gonna show you how to create the stationary mask stills behind the video mask. All right, guys, it's time to learn how to download After Effects beta, which is available by just clicking onto Adobe Creative Cloud, clicking on the beta apps button, and then installing Adobe After Effects beta. I'm assuming that Rotobrush 2 will be available in normal After Effects, after the next update. If you're watching this video, you're probably a video editor and Envato Elements is a video editor's dream. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning. They also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it, I use Elements literally in some regard every day. So let's get started. First I dragged my clip called Rach Base, don't know why I named it that, into the After Effects timeline window. This automatically created a composition that had resolution and frame rate settings that matched the clip. I named the composition Moving Rach. Having the clip and composition settings match is very important in order for Roto Brush 2 to work correctly. Again, I can't emphasize how important this is. Okay, first we're gonna create the initial moving mask. It's time to click on the Roto Brush 2 tool and begin to draw within the areas that you'd like to mask out. Double click on the clip to automatically switch from the composition window over to the layer window. It's so amazing how accurate this tool is, especially considering the complex background that we're working against. I mean, check out how complex the leaf structure is of the bushes and the vents and everything. It's crazy. The old rotor brush tool would have absolutely sucked trying to track these edges. Okay, side note guys, it's very important to make sure that rotor brush version 2 and that quality best is chosen in the effects controls tab. Again, it's crucial that you remember to check this every time you wrote or brush a new clip. Now back to drawing on the clips. A positive mask will be represented with a green marking. And a negative mask used to undo a positive mask is represented by a red marking. You will start on the first frame and continue to inch forward in the timeline from frame to frame via the page up and page down keys. It's important to get that first mask on the first frame as perfect as possible because the AI within Rotobrush 2 bases its AI for all the following frames on the mask on that first frame. Once you've completed masking out the entire clip, click the freeze button. Give After Effects a few seconds to register the freeze. Then switch back over to the composition window from the layer window. If necessary, you have the option of polishing the mask by editing the feathering of the mask, or you might wanna just shift the edge of the mask in or out a little bit with the shift edge option. Now, time for the stationary mask stills. Now it's time to create another composition. I'm calling this composition Rach Complete. Now drag the Rach base clip again from the project window over to this new Rach Complete composition. Now remember from before, the composition resolution and frame rate needs to match the clip resolution and frame rate. So how do I manually change the composition frame rate and resolution when the clip's already inside the composition? Easy. Click the composition tab and click on composition settings. 
then change the resolution and frame rate accordingly. My clip resolution is 2160 by 2700. And my clip frame rate is 23.976 frames per second. And now, so is my compositions. Now it's time to duplicate the clip. And on that top clip, right click, go to time, and click freeze frame. And bam, the footage has now become a frozen still frame. After that, it's time to click again on the roto mask button and mask out my sister from this frozen still frame. Same rules. Make sure you are on version 2 and make sure the quality is on best. And again, when done, click freeze to lock in that mask. Then you'll count three frames from the front of the still, and then you'll use alt right bracket to cut the still. Remember, you can inch forward using the page up key. After that, you're going to duplicate the original clip and then bring it on top of everything else just so you can see it better. Now you're going to count three frames from the edge of the first still. Now cut that clip right there with the alt right bracket and then click freeze frame. Mask out my sister from that frozen still as well. You're gonna keep doing this until she whips her entire arm around her body. Look at the descending staircase you're making with the clips as she eats up her arms. After she begins to kick her leg up, you're going to do the exact same thing except by making an ascending staircase with the stills that you're continuing to create and mask out. Now, it's time to place the moving rage composition on top of the frozen stills in the rage complete composition. Yes, it is possible to place a composition within a composition. It's important to make sure that the movements are in sync with each other. And you're done. Now you can open up Premiere, import the Rage Complete composition into a random sequence in Premiere, and check it one last time. And then you can finally export it out. I usually export using an H.264 codec and an MP4 container. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. I actually have two additional videos that you've got to watch. And remember to get your free month of Envato Elements by clicking the link below in the description. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.